Good morning, everybody. I am joined by Chris and Kayla, and you are watching The Drill Down. The drill. How are you guys doing this morning? Doing better than Michael. Doing better than Michael, yeah. Michael, <laughs> our fearless leader, um, is out sick today. It's fallen so ill. Feel better at home if you're watching Michael. Yeah. He's like a semi-pro bowler. But yeah, yeah, he's not yeah. a semi-pro chili fries eater, apparently. <laughs> well, he might be, but the chili fries were sub semi-pro. Yeah, if you don't know, Michael is pretty incredible at bowling. His he averages when he bowls like above two fifty. Man, many talents. I think he's like hitting a three hundred. Yeah, he for sure has bowled. I would say multiple three hundreds, but at least one. Definitely, one yeah. is all you really need. Yeah. Well, true. I mean, what do you do after that? I mean, they made a whole movie about it, the three hundred. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Opening up the show. I feel like we need a very small drum kit so we can put them just like all the way over here. <laughs> just for the merch. We show. definitely need one of those. All right, um, we've got a great show for you guys today on the drill down. Um, thank you for joining us on Facebook Live. Um, huge regional weekends coming up this week and next weekend. Um, so we plan on talking about just this weekend's re Power Regionals, um, including those top five there. You see the East Power Regional over in uh, Pennsylvania, the Mid-Atlantic in North Carolina, um, or maybe South Carolina, sorry. Um, Southwest down here in Texas, the East Power Regional, which uh, the Percussion Power Regional, which Chris is heading up to in Tom's New River. Jersey. Yeah. And then finally, the South Power Regional um, for Percussion in Mississippi. While we're doing this, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Leilani, who says that she should be working on thesis prep, but she's watching this, which is right on my yeah, alley. Yeah, there you go. Party down. Well, it's a great we'll start day. Yeah, this is going to be a great <laughs> show for you, Leilani. 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 Nice. All right. Um, so, first off, before we jump into all the power regionals, we are only 99 days out from the DCI 99. season. 99. Very excited. We put out a video the other day um, that Chris put together for us. So let's watch that. Just a little highlight video showing off some Blue Devils and uh, everybody else. Also, the Guardians, I don't know if you've heard of their show this season, or the 2018 season. shot of the guy on the ground was blue stars yeah i was like yeah 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 like fully, an age out that ceremony. was like a fully yeah. couchman moment though where you're like well on the field i, th I think that's during the age out ceremony on like friday night after semifinals and where well, all the 21 and ups go out on the field and you know they leave their their mark on dci history and what i mean at that point it's you deserve to lay down <laughs> sure. do, get some do they put on. their shoes on the field do they leave their shoes on the field is that a thing it used yes. i think it used to be a big tradition um i don't think they let you leave too much stuff on the field now maybe you bring one thing um i obviously i miss my age out ceremony but um i think they do still get to bring stuff not sure if how long they leave it on the field though that's actually really good. Okay, we should ask this then. Anybody who's had an age out, you should comment and tell us what, what yeah. you did. Because yeah. obviously we yeah, I'm, I'm out of the game for a minute. My last season when I was 20, so I'm, I didn't go back, unfortunately. Um, Rip. Rest in, rest in yeah. peace, yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Andy um, and his drum corps career. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. I ended on a high note, though. All right, moving into what, our... What, what was the high note? Uh, a high he B. plays a trumpet, so it could have been. Well, no, many. I was on third trumpet though, so oh, like so I had, like I just play Chris loud and proud. Tag teaming bad shows. <laughs> <laughs> just ganging up on Andy. So third trumpet, your highest note was what, like um, C? A G above this, G? just right on top of the staff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's up there. <laughs> yeah, for trumpets, that's really high. It's not. Anyway. Um, anyway, moving into our first power regional we would like to discuss. Um, let's start with the East Power Regional, which I will actually be at this weekend um, up in Bethlehem, PA, Pennsylvania, right outside of Allentown. Um, Saturday prelims start at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, finals on Sunday start at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So make sure we've got like f almost all of them are starting right around 9 or 10 um, Eastern time. Yeah. It's going to be a really stacked day. and We have yeah. a lot of really good... Stuff because we went to South Brunswick just 
a, a week ago, two weeks ago, yeah, something like that ago. recently, we were able to meet with a lot of the groups who were going to be on the ground. Yeah, um, so really good lineup. Yeah, yeah. I'm super excited to see Fusion's going to be there. I'm really excited to see them again. I was just kind of like mind blown by their spinny tarp. I really want to see the spinny mm -hmm. tarp again. Um, Eminon's going to be there. Their yeah. show is really impressive. I think like um, almost think all of the independent open groups that went to South Brunswick are going to uh, the East Power Regional. Yeah, which is crazy. That's great because it gives gives fans chances, multiple chances throughout the season to see them. That's really important if you just like keep tab keeping tabs on one group that you know maybe you want to be in or you know you just have an affinity for. Mm -hmm. if they're from your area, you know that kind of thing. Um, so in Scholastic World, well, I, let me start. Three rounds of Scholastic A, plenty of Scholastic A competition there, um, lots of great groups. Um, again, a lot of same groups we saw in South Brunswick, so get a second chance to see them. Um, in Scholastic World, we've got Somerville, Trumbull, North Syracuse Central, Shen Shenandoah, an incredible Shenandoah. finalist group. Um, and then in Independent World, Blessed Sac, Field of View, Blackwatch, Amp, a couple more um, just really top-notch groups. Blessed Sac, we want... They're, they're my, like, must-watch for this weekend. Um, mm. Blessed Sacrament is a group from, like, Boston, Massachusetts, just around, around there. And we haven't seen them yet. No. In our season, we haven't. No, so. we haven't in 2018 um, seen Blessed Sacrament. They've made finals something crazy, like, the last 20 years. Dang. Straight. That's a record. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, they definitely have some WGI records for sure. Uh, moving on to the East Percussion Regional, which you're heading out to. Do you yeah, want to have I any? think there's actually one wins group. Yes, and there there group. are win there is yeah. So at both of the percussion regionals, there are wins as well. Um, there's one at Tom's River, and then a couple like six or seven. There's like, yeah, there's a um, handful at the South Power Regional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited to see some percussion, see some drums, drums um, and a gym. and also wins. Like I think I think yeah, as we get. Further along, more winds groups will will kind of pop up, and I want to see what what the winds groups are bringing to the to the game. Yeah, it's really hard, I think, for the uh, the groups. The winds groups are few and far between. There's a lot of space between them, so it's hard for a lot of them to go to one place. That's good to like see a lot of competition at a power regional. Um, but yeah, so in motion winds actually starts off the show at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Right after that, we go straight into uh, Scholastic A, I believe. Um, finals on Saturday or Sunday, sorry, start at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Um, so, same time uh, as a lot of the other ones. We had a guy, Kyle Miller, says that Blessed Sack has been a finalist for 37 years. Yeah, isn't that nice? 37. That's yeah. like coming in with the facts, more Kyle. Than Thanks. That's <laughs> a little bit more than 20. Yeah, it's almost double. Nearly double. double. <laughs> <laughs> just, just barely. I think the math on that might be correct. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. So, yeah, definitely. The, and that, yeah, I'm always, I was so, so excited to see them the first time I ever went to WGI World Championships for guard because that was like the group I heard of. Yeah. Um, just being one of those dynasty groups that's just like always top of the the group, like top of the poll, I would sure. say. Sure. You remember what was our show last year? Do you remember? No, I don't. I didn't watch much of Guard Finals last okay. year. Actually, I've seen like photos and stuff from last year, and like small bits of videos. So sometimes I can recognize stuff when you kind of like give me a, f a little bit. We'll have yeah, to go. Yeah. We'll go check it out. Yeah, yeah, then. definitely. If anybody remembers and wants to comment, just <laughs> let me know. I'm gonna um, keep pointing at the yeah. <laughs> pointing at the screen. Yeah, we have finger That's guns. We have to get um, some like graphics that pop up every time you point at the camera. It's, just like and a sound <laughs> effect. <laughs> Fully a sound effect. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, some notable groups that are at the East <clears throat> Percussion Regional, or Power Regional, and wins obviously. Um, George Mason University. We saw them in Dayton. Uh, great group. Talked to Dan Shack. Told us yeah. about their show concept. Really interesting, um, using memories and file cabinets and saving your memories to live longer um, in, a, in a more physical space. Yeah, is it called like memory archive? The memory archive. Memory yeah. archive. Yeah, really cool. So these the members themselves um, sent in their individual memories that they thought would be powerful for the show, and they use voiceovers throughout. The, it's a really cool show. These green glowing orbs and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Um, United Percussion as well. <coughs> Sorry, did you have something to say? Oh, no, Chris? no. I was just going to say, I have such a terrible memory, you know, so this this show might mean something to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you, I, I do. I forget things. We'll set you up with uh, Dan Shack, and he can okay. get you. He can hook me with a filing cabinet? Uh, yeah, he'll give you a green orb and a filing cabinet. Good. 
Um, so United Percussion will also be in, excuse me, uh, Tom's River, New Jersey. Um, we missed out on them at Dayton. They were supposed to perform, um, but they had some travel issues. So we mm -hmm. didn't get them, get to see them. Very excited to see them um, for the first time in 2018. Also, Spirit Winter Percussion, who we love, yeah. they take over our Snapchat a bunch. That's great. They've been so awesome. They've like kind of like floated in and out of our Snapchat doing some takeovers, and I think we're actually going to get them one more time before the season is over. Yeah. So stay tuned for more, yeah, more Spirit yeah. WP. Yeah, definitely love them. They have always had great Snapchat stories for yeah, us. Yeah, they're really fun to work with. Definitely. Um, moving on, we've got the Mid-Atlantic Guard Power Regional. Um, I have it written in as Charlotte, but I think that's wrong. I don't know. I'm, I may be wrong. I don't know. Mid-Atlantic, you said? Mid-Atlantic. Rock Hill, South Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's what I thought it was, yeah. yeah. Um, so that starts at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, um, prelims on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Finals start at 9.15 on Sunday. Um, four rounds of Scholastic A, 34 Scholastic A guards. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be It's going to be a lot. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to start your morning off with Coffee? With some, yeah, a nice <laughs> cup of coffee and a bunch of really talented kids that are new to WGI or maybe groups that are new to the scene and, you know, they're getting their basic rudimentary skills down, trying to push to the next level. That, mm -hmm. That's the time to watch, really. <clears throat> yeah, one of the things that's been really exciting about this season is coming into WGI with kind of a superficial knowledge of how the system works. It's been really cool to see groups who have advanced Absolutely. from different... Um, Oh gosh, different classes into the next class. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a few names here that I really recognize that I'm excited to see. Etude is performing in yeah. uh, Mid Atlantic, and they have like a it's like a poison apple themed mm -hmm. show, something like that. And I saw some photos from it on Twitter earlier this week that look really, really neat. Cool. Yeah. So I haven't had a chance to see them yet, and that's gonna be really cool. Yeah, some other big groups that will be there: um, Paramount, mm -hmm. um, Paramount's Open Group as well, uh, First Flight, and Legacy from Independent Open. Um, First Flight is another one of those North Carolina groups. Um, I believe they're from North Carolina, um, as well as Etude, that are just, they have been there um, for, for a while now, and they really have a good, uh, just a good group of kids that come and want to spin there and be good. Um, and uh, some of them I actually know through my girlfriend, uh, who's from, or went to school in Greensboro, North Carolina, mm. so, yeah. Got that guard connect. Yeah, I got the connection <laughs> there. Um, so moving on into our South Percussion and Winds um, Power Regional down in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Um, that's where you'll get a little more of the Winds groups. You get six. There's, <clears throat> let me pull it up exactly. Uh, seven groups going. <coughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see a bunch of Winds groups that come together and perform. They have about an hour of just Winds, which is great. You know, I don't think that's something we've seen so far this season. Um, just seeing one or two groups here individually. Yeah, it's been kind of like one-off performances. So it'll be really neat to actually have kind of a feeling of competition. Yeah. Um, you know, just seeing other groups, even just enjoying each other's company. I'm sure that, I mean, because Wins is so new, there's probably a bit of a feeling of isolation. Yeah, yeah. Of just kind of being in your own bubble, and it's really neat, I think, <clears throat> for them to be able to engage with other groups that are kind of in the same headspace that they are. One thing, when I was introduced to WGI, I, it was through Rhythm X, working on at the administrative team at Rhythm X. And that was the first year they started the Wins group. Mm -hmm. So it was Rhythm X Wins, and then the just powerhouse program that is Rhythm X Percussion. Yeah. And the, the most interesting thing by far that I saw while working that season was the way that the Wins group interacted with the percussion group at, and vice versa. Hmm. So <clears throat> similar to, way, to like a, how a high school that has multiple groups would bring both groups to the same event and then they watch each other and they support each other and they like lead the cheers basically that's it's mm. the same thing it was the same thing there's a lot of respect between both groups yes the wins groups <clears throat> the wins members have more to live up to they they have a huge standard that's yeah, kind of set. brand yeah. they got <laughs> but they gotta fit into. you know if if you ask me they've lived up to it quite well yeah. you know, considering they have two world championships under their belt already yeah, they've done okay for themselves yeah <laughs> definitely um, so, some notables, we've also got, obviously, percussion in South, um, at the South Par uh, Power Regional. Um, we've got strike percussion, who we saw brought up earlier this season on the drill down because of their plane. Got a plane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you remember. Truly, though, guys, there's, like, an actual airplane that's going to be on the ground. Well, it's, like, is it a full, it's half a plane. It's, like, half, half a plane, plane, 
part of a plane. And it's the doing fuselage and like I think a couple of the wing. wings. There's a one wing. There's and a then, wing. Yeah. <laughs> this is a wing. There's the wing. There's a wing. <laughs> All you need is one wing. And honestly, they made a whole uh, TV show about that called The West Wing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. Chris. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> I like this. Keep it up. That it is I'm the I'm start tallying. I like, believe. Geez. <laughs> we do. We need a whiteboard. Just we need graphics for Kayla and a whiteboard for Chris for tallies. Yeah. For well, I've also heard that's supposed to be one of the best TV shows ever made, at least the first, like, <laughs> three seasons or something. I've never watched it. It's on the to-do list. That's, yeah, it's not necessarily my style either. But I've heard it's great. Whatever. It is anyway. what it is. <laughs> So there's going to be a plane there. Cool. So there's going to be a plane in Mississippi. Um, they're bringing their plane to Mississippi. I bet they're traveling on buses, though. Which yeah, sucks. I'm, like, really <laughs> interested to find out how that moves. Like, if they actually have yeah. any pieces, if they have a truck just for the plane, if it's going to be, like, a U-Haul situation where, or like, a... I'm thinking, no? I'm thinking they probably have the ability to take the wing off. Yeah. And then I guess it would fit in, like, a regular trailer. Or yeah. A, uh, you know what I'm talking about. A truck. Yeah, yeah. And then they you know, put the wing on the side or top or whatever. That's going to be something neat because we haven't really seen, like, I was expecting to see more kind of, like, full-scale uh, props. Hmm. And I didn't, it's, I mean, I haven't been disappointed with what I've seen by any stretch of the imagination. But a lot of the um, props of the shows that I feel like I've seen this season have been more repetitive, but just kind of, like, carried over the entire field. So I understand. Kind of, I, I mean, <clears throat> I think you're textural. referencing Mystique, like, exactly does that. It's it's not the same exact thing, but there's, like, a, a format, a template, kind of, mm -hmm. that they build off of um, with the, the like, pulled, like, leather kind of look and the, on the tribal, like, they're just thin stands, basically, with, yeah. like, rope tied pulling, like, the skins. Yeah, or I've seen groups... Of course, I'm not speaking anything specific right now, but, like, there were a lot of groups, I thought, in South Brunswick that used chairs really interestingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they, were, they would have several chairs on the floor. Um, there were several groups that had kind of, like, poles. Like, um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, was it Avon that had, the, they had the circus show, or was that yeah. Carmel? Was uh, Avon? Oh, man. Oh, no, the Forgotten Circus. And I remember the name of the show, too. That sounds like Carmel. Mm -hmm. That's my guess. Oh, man, guys, we're going to have to do a check on that. I feel bad now for quoting yeah, that. It's one of those groups, though. Yeah, it's one of those, too. Um, but they have the poles, or the they also have those, like, rings around the tarp, right? Yeah, it's like a three-ring circus yeah. situation. Um, Pinsakin up there had a bunch of cakes. Okay. A lot of cakes. It was Avon. It was Avon. <laughs> okay, so I was, was wrong. I knew I was there. I was, I was like, guys. Um, Definitely Avon with the Forgotten Circus. So yeah, because Carmel had the cool, the rolly things. Oh yeah, the Come caterpillars. On. Guys, what we're thinking? Yes. Um, <laughs> so I'm wondering the what you mean. Things. What you mean by like more full scale with the props? I'm trying. To, well, okay. So like, I mean, a plane is. Di I mean, a plane it's is large. Is very large. Yeah. Um, or like, I mean, granted, this is an old, like a much older show. But when I think about like the Northmont, the Dante show, well, that's that's a set. I know, yeah. and it's like I know it's unto itself. But yeah. like th things of that scale, mm. or even Invictus having the pool. I mean, that to me is like mm. a large, like a large, large scale prop. And Invictus's kind of field this year, they have the um, the panel, which yeah. of course works it's in rather the minimal line. too. It is, yeah. So maybe it's just maybe it's my need for more exposure to different sets, mm. but. Yeah, and it's still early. Like we've only seen I know, the it's early days with percussion, and early usually days. you'll see larger scale props with percussion than you will with guard. Uh, generally, I would say the guard likes to use the floor a heck of a lot more. You know, yeah, they like the space. Um, what? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Hit me with it. No, no. I was just thinking about big Hit props and things that I know, prop? and that uh, the Burleson Winds Group has all the rock wall props from. I always forget who did it the year before, but the percussion group did it the year before, the spelunking stuff. Oh, remember? yes, yeah. So anyway. Centennial. Cent yeah, Centennial. Centennial. Burleson Centennial, right. So, you know, big props coming your way at some point. Yeah, plus I know that... Um, <laughs> everybody, I wasn't looking at this, but everybody's like, it's Avon. Sorry, guys. Oh, man. Thanks. Everybody, everybody knew it but us. They're cleaning this up. We suck. Um... <laughs> What was I going to say? Oh, Infinity will be there this weekend as well in South, uh, in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Um, 
and they brought out some pretty large scale props last year. They had really tall chain link fences that they were all climbing around and like this like um, maybe it wasn't chain link, but it was like there's scaffolding, a lot of scaffolding, um, a lot of up vertical motion, which is really cool to see honestly when when you've got like when you're playing stuff in a vertical space rather than like a physical vertical space rather than horizontal, it, it adds a whole new element of like the listening environment, which is really cool. Is that the group that had all the chains and stuff? I believe they did, yeah. Green. And they were like climbing no, up green, the, no. the thing in the background? Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I was just watching all this footage this past week, um, mm -hmm. and there was a group that was slapping these chains, and then they climbed this giant thing in the back. I don't know. It was just very, very large wall that I, do they have more time for percussion to like set up these giant props or is <laughs> it they just they just faster they're just really quick maybe i'd have, have to check the rule book staffs, um i don't know maybe maybe i guess we'll find out soon enough we should ask people should tell us you guys comment if you know if you, How do you if you have read the rule book props out <laughs> <laughs> I want you to cite it. We need, we need an MLA format citation to the rule. Oh my gosh. Where's the rule? <laughs> 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 Moving on, let's end with our final. Um, well, yeah, let's end and then we'll go to watch the top five. We got a brand new top five we released last night. Yeah. Um, so we'll watch that here um, and kind of listen to what people like from that. But mm -hmm. for the Southwest Guard Power Regional, um, which is the final one in Denton, Texas, we've got two venues, so it, it may be confusing, but Scholastic A is one stream, all the other classes are another stream, and that's because they're two different locations, so two different mm -hmm, mm -hmm. streams. Um, they'll be happening at the same exact time. Uh, excuse me. Flower Mound starts, that's Scholastic A, it starts at Flower Mound High School at 9 a.m. Central Time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Semis are later that day on Saturday, um, at 6.30 p.m. Mm. Central Time. They go till 9.45. Yep. Yowza. And then those groups, you know, they have semifinals that night. They have to turn around on Sunday and perform in finals competition True. for the Southwest that. Power Regional. But that is at the Coliseum where the other stream is happening. So if you want to watch Scholastic A all day on Saturday, you have that option. Um, just watch the Flower Mound stream. Um, the, all the other classes are all going to be at the Coliseum. Yeah, and it looks like they're definitely doing rounds. So do pay attention if, you, uh, if you're like planning on watching all day. There are going to be several breaks because they're mm -hmm. doing, for this class today, they're doing, it's like four, four rounds before we get to semis. Yeah, there's a reason. So many. They have their own venue. They, it's, a, it's a huge thing. All the, these great Texas Olympic. guards come to one place and, and really show what they put together over the last four months, five months. Um, I, w I spent a lot of time at Klein Oak High School yesterday. Um, some things coming out that are really exciting for us. Um, spend a lot of time with Stephanie Chavez, who is their color guard director. Mm -hmm. um, they just made the move up from independent, or sorry, Scholastic A to Scholastic Open, and um, they're just a, re they are a really strong program that's really popped out of nowhere recently in the last couple years. Yeah, I'm super excited to see the stuff from that shoot. It's gonna be really neat. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We're uh, getting some new premium content that'll come up if you have a subscription. It's really exciting. Yeah, guard technique, yeah, right? Yeah, yep, guard technique. It's so. really, really cool. So you can always turn to us for educational opportunities. Stephanie Chavez uh, is also the Phantom uh, Regiment Color Guard uh, Caption Head. So she, She's just great. Um, she was great to work with, great on camera, and great to learn from. I learned a lot of guard technique yesterday, and I'm a trumpet player. Can you spin player. now? Um, I could never spin. I, I was taught consecutives <laughs> on a rifle, like just keep going around in a circle. Um, in when I marched Glassman by one, like a friend that was in the color guard. And I can still do maybe two, and that's probably the extent of my color guard skills. Yeah, so you fulfill the actual definition of the word consecutive thing, because you can do one <laughs> yeah, yeah, right yeah. after another, yeah. but that is it. Two, yeah, that's <laughs> considered consecutive. Got it. Or if, like, nah, it's not if you do one and stop and then do another one, is it? No, no not consecutive. Not. That's a single. Eh, depends on your two definition. Two versus of, a double. Yeah, but what if they're consecutive singles? Ugh. I don't know. We're getting into language now, and that gets pretty top five. ambiguous. Time for top five. All right, let's let's watch this top five, brand new top five from yesterday. Um, here we go.
will say AMP had a great show. I am so into AMP. I'm I so really into enjoy show. getting to spend time with them and do some interviews yeah. uh, with the guard captains. And yeah, the show's just fun. It's this whole uh, Godfather, kind of early 1900s gangster theme. And just the way that they trade. Uh, I, is that what you call it when you trade? Like you, you throw the thing up and then someone else comes in and catches it. <sighs> I can't it's think of a work. term. Yeah. There's one <clears throat> there's one specific term, transfer or something like that. I bet somebody's gonna comment it. Mm -hmm. in, yeah, so in a second. what do you call it when you toss a rifle and your friend comes yeah. over and catches it and then you catch someone else's? Yeah, I think it's there's called a so transfer. much of that. There's like this really intricate moment where all the guys have their rifles and they have like this whole choreographed thing and then like even in that flag part there, uh, they're all spinning their flag or throwing their flags and Exchange. then the last one throws the flag. And the guy catches it. I don't know. It's just really Stephanie cool. Stephanie Click. Oh, we got, we got a few responses. Rodney Thomas and Stephanie Click and Sarah Huffman say it's an exchange. Exchange. Right. It's an exchange. exchange. That is absolutely what I know it as. Transfer with right. the right word. Yeah. We're learning a lot of vocabulary today. Yeah. Yeah. So. Lots of, oh, but a part of that, though, it plays into the theme of, like, you know, you got to have each other's back, you know, so if I do this, you got to catch it, you know, so it's oh, like the family. So deep. Yeah, so. we had some some of those exchanges in my show in 2015 in Blue Devils, where the guard, well, I, was, well, I wasn't doing it. We, as in the Blue, De the Blue Devils <laughs> color guard, was doing it. <laughs> Andy oh. singularly by I was himself. watching it. It was amazing every Andy time. Andy is the Blue Devils guard. But they had this rifle moment where we had these really tall chairs with like ladders on the side. They're probably like six feet up in the air, maybe even eight feet up in the air. And they were, there was one person sitting on the chair on the top and then one person under and they were doing rifle exchanges up and down. Super cool. That is really neat because you have to be able to get around the prop. Well, right? it, it was just, actually the chairs were sideways. So like mm. the person was sitting facing the front of the field. We'll have to, I'll pull it up later and we'll watch yeah, it. It's a really cool mid. moment if you remember that. Yeah. Definitely yeah. upping the difficulty level. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I can't, I can't even imagine spinning a rifle much less like Spinning and then catching someone else's rifle. Well, and then the other thing, the other side of it is like tricks. Tricks are becoming this huge thing where it's it's not exchanges, but it's one person just showing off, like just really impressing anybody that's watching. And we were doing some, we were filming some tricks yesterday of this one student from Klein Oak. Um, his name is Danny. He's a really incredible performer. We made him catch like probably forty sixes in a row, like it, and he maybe tossed. I don't know how many he dropped. Maybe three. Like it, it, he didn't drop Dang. that much, and it was crazy. But he, we had this segment where he's just doing tricks, and he's doing like two spins after with like a six over top, or like throws a six, does a sit roll, and then <laughs> <laughs> spins on his butt yeah. with his feet straight and catches it in an angle. Like it was nuts. I always try to like whenever I see people do tricks like this, and I know that it comes from like tons of practice. But I was trying to imagine myself doing them. And in my mind, like when I visualize, it just I, it falls on my head, and I'm just injured every time. Yeah, like I can six, never envision myself spin, doing this. Double spin, concussion. <laughs> yeah. that, that's the Into final that hospital <laughs> trip. The There's the element. trick I can do. <laughs> Take myself straight the to the trick, hospital. Really. That's a cool note to end on, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. I think that's our ending <laughs> note. Um, we have a really exciting weekend coming up. Um, this weekend, five regionals, power regionals. Yeah, over 272 groups, y'all. Nuts. That's really insane. And that's not performances. That's groups. So you know that some of these groups you're going to see perform a total of three times when they make yeah. semis and then finals. Yeah. So that's like over potentially like 500. a thousand performances. Definitely. So many performances. So many Somewhere near there. It's, it's, it's at least it's math. Somebody do the math on that one. It's um. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Got my degree in English. Okay, guys. Numbers aren't my thing. All right, so if you want to connect with us on social media, hit up at Flow Marching on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All the places. Snapchat, YouTube. I don't know. I think that's it. Yeah, um, Twitter, Insta, Yeah, Facebook. if you have any more questions, you can comment them now. Get your last ones in mm -hmm. as we close the show out. But, yeah, we're really excited to go out to these five power regionals. Um, again, I am going to the East Guard Regional in P Pennsylvania. Chris will be up at Tom's River, New Jersey. Oh, also, it's my birthday. Today? On Saturday. Oh. Or on the 17th. Yeah, so that's so Saturday. So lucky. For sure. Yeah, Saturday. So Thanks, say happy yeah. birthday to Chris. Patrick's Day. I'll if, be there in my green hat. Nice. Y'all, if go. you DM us a video of you singing Chris Happy Birthday, I will fully put it on our Instagram oh, that'd story. Be great. Do yes. it. 
And I think, so lastly, Gilly will be also at the Denton, Texas Power Regional. Yeah. So see him. Gilly will be recovered. Tell him to feel better <laughs> <laughs> for don't, us. You don't better bring him, uh, What? Don't bring him any sort of like weird bowling alley food. <laughs> you mean like Maybe a, just any Gatorade and saltines. Like American bar food, basically? Like well, pizza. Some, some, I think bowling alleys in particular, they're just really, there's the shoes there, and the shoes, you know, like that probably carries over. Okay, so, all right. We're going to close the show theory. before Chris finishes that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. <laughs> do we have any last questions? Uh, we do have somebody who commented with the interval times between the different things, so we can kind of close on that. Yeah. Uh, Paul Levitan says, interval times for World are 11 minutes, Open's 10 minutes, and A's 9 minutes. So it depends uh, on your class. Yeah, uh, and, I, and I think I knew that. Um, I just didn't know if it was different for percussion or guard. But that's oh, gotcha. thing. Very, very helpful. Um, Thanks, very Paul. interesting point, yeah. That's good to know. Yeah, so thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, we had a lot of fun today, um, and we look forward to seeing you down the road. Have a good day. Bye.